Good day. On December 8, on the sidelines of the Ukrainian authorities, the following rumors, gossip, insiders and opinions were discussed. Gossip. The longer the war, the more tired ordinary citizens will be from it. The Americans have been partially affected by economic wars, sanctions, and at the same time, the level of support for the Ukrainian crisis in the United States is declining, but the Europeans have felt the sanctions very strongly, where the level of support for Kyiv is now at its minimum, then it may fall to the bottom, going already to a negative trend, when politicians will publicly disown their support for the Ukrainian crisis. 2023 could be the complete opposite of 2022, where the trend was to support Kyiv, and now it will be toxic. Backstage rumors. Everyone has already seen that they want to raise the electricity tariff for business in Ukraine by almost 84%, and according to the data in 2023 there will still be an increase of 25-40%. to 40%. For the population, they will raise from the spring of 2023, in two or three stages, 30-40% to 40% each. The gas tariff will increase by 100-150% to 150% per year, heating will be raised by 150%, and water supply and sewerage will increase by 100-150% to 150% per year garbage collection and other services will follow. As a result, you will pay 150% more for the full complex than now. If now Ukrainians pay an average of 2,000 hryvnias, $55, by the end of 2023 they will have to pay 5,000 hryvnias $140. Inside. According to information, one of the contractors of the Center for Combating Disinformation analyzed the impact of power outages on the center's ability to exert informational influence. Due to constant blackouts, the population spends less time watching TV and watching the telethon. In addition, often when there is no light, there is no internet, and when there is light, people quickly solve everyday issues and spend less time watching the news. This could not but affect the moods of people who have significantly reduced the consumption of information in general and the narratives of the authorities in particular. People are beginning to doubt the adequacy of the aggressive rhetoric of the speakers of the authorities regarding the goals of the war and the expediency of its continuation, double exclamation mark. Against the background of the general cohesion of society, the trend is insignificant at the moment, because it is just emerging, but quite promising, which causes concern for the generals of the psychological front. Inside. MI6 has relayed intelligence to the office of the president that the Kremlin has approved a positional warfare strategy in Ukraine that aims to freeze the front line and economically exhaust the West. British intelligence advises Zelensky to prepare the country for a long war, which will drag on for two to three years. Layout. The Bukmatovskaya meat grinder is now the bloodiest place on the front line, where the armed forces of Ukraine are suffering enormous losses due to a shortage of artillery. The SVSU consider the Bukmatov direction a cursed place where the risk of dying is 100%. The general staff is forced to use volunteers, mercenaries again to hold the city, which is more and more like a collapsed one. Zelensky is afraid of losing the battle for Bukhmut, as this could become a symbol of a turning point at the front and negatively affect the morale of the army and society. Rumors. Opinion. Bankovo was expected to take advantage of divisions in the Republican Party, but yesterday's vote on the resolution showed that in 2023 Biden will face a tough congressional stance on aid to Ukraine. The American media draw attention to the fact that the Republican Party has rallied and has already tried to vote on a resolution to check the allocated funding to Ukraine. Inside. The source said that Klitschko is negotiating with Zaluzny to create a new party based on Udara, which will include city mayors and war veterans. The entire track is supervised by Lyavochkin, who actively uses his connections with the State Department and the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine. Inside. The source said that the general staff is preparing new attacks on airfields in Russia, but this time the objects will be as close as possible to Moscow. On Bankovaya they want to demonstrate the ability to strike at any objects, and for one thing they want to probe the air defense around the Kremlin. Inside. The source said that the office of the president is considering the option of holding parliamentary elections in the spring of 2023 rather than in the fall. Bankova constantly monitors the dynamics of support for Zelensky and analyzes various scenarios for the development of the situation in Ukraine. If the war goes into a protracted, positional, stage, then this will weaken the position of power, against the backdrop of a destroyed infrastructure and lack of prospects. Layout. The Kosovo police have said they have deployed police to Serb populated areas to ensure security. It's just like the Russian Federation brought its army into Ukraine to protect Russian speakers, and so on. The reason and reasons can be different, somewhere very banal, and somewhere more sophisticated. See how Turkey makes an invasion and while the whole world is silent, it is being traded. It will be the same here, the whole world understands only strength and arrogance, everything else is an illusion for the masses.
It was previously discussed that the West will take advantage of this while the Russian Federation has booted in the Ukrainian crisis. Now the US can use the Balkan crisis to divert anger from the bout exchange and add even more problems to Europe. See you soon.